How do I talk with my kid about their body? The preschool years are a great time to help your little one understand what their body parts are and that their body is worth loving and belongs to them alone. These conversations can help them stay safe and grow up with a healthy body image. Bath time, getting dressed in the morning, or putting on pajamas at night are all good times to go over what their body parts are. Look for children's books about anatomy and body diversity and read them with your little one. When answering questions, the simplest answer is best at this age. If they want more information, they'll ask for it. For example, if they ask what those spots on their chest are, you can simply say, those are nipples, everybody has them. It's also important to tell them who's allowed to see or touch their genitals and in what circumstances, like bathing or a physical exam. A clear, simple rule about this can help prevent sexual abuse. Call body parts by their real names, like vulva, vagina, penis, and testicles. Cutesy nicknames can send the message that genitals are shameful and shouldn't be talked about. Try not to get angry or upset if they do something inappropriate. Instead, you can calmly say something like, I know that feels good, but that's only okay when you're in a private place, like your bedroom. Start building a foundation of healthy, positive feelings about your kid's body and respect for other people. Avoid criticizing other people's or your own body in front of your kid. Instead, talk about bodies in more positive ways, like the great things they can do. Show your kid positive images of people who look like them, especially if there isn't much representation of their race, gender identity, ability, or culture in the world around them. Little kids notice bodies that look different from theirs. Different genders, races, ethnicities, hair, abilities, you name it. These are teachable moments. You can talk about how everybody is beautiful in their own way. It's also a good opportunity to help your kid understand how to be respectful of people who are different from them. It's common for preschoolers to have questions about genitals and how bodies look different for boys and girls. While the most simple answer is that girls have vulvas and boys have penises, that answer isn't true for everyone. Boy, girl, man, and woman are words that describe gender identity, and some people with the gender identities boy or man have vulvas, and some with the gender identity girl or woman have penises. You can say that most girls have vulvas and most boys have penises, but it's not true for everyone. That's because your genitals don't make you a boy or a girl. How you feel and identify does. Want to learn more? Visit PlannedParenthood.org parents.